So this is an integer, integer programming problem. What we're going to do here is use the branch and bound technique to solve, solve this problem. What we're going to do here is maximize. This is a maximization problem. What we're going to do here is maximize this objective function according to these constraints below. So the, max, the, the objective function here is essentially z, or z, equals 3x1 plus 5x2, subject to these constraints. 2x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 25, x1 is less than or equal to 8, 2x2 is less than or equal to 10, uh, well, uh, x1 and x2 are integers and they're non-negative. The first thing we're going to do is impose a, a LP relaxation. Essentially what we're going to do is um, we're going to relax this constraint here. Okay, so they don't have to be integers now. To speed things up, what I'm going to do here is give multiple choice answers. Okay, so here are five possible solutions. Okay, and what we got to do is check which ones are optimal and which ones are feasible. Okay, the first thing I got, uh, we got to do is actually well, let's try and re uh, weed out non-feasible ones okay so let's just check our constraints you see the second constraint here x1 is less than or equal to 8 that immediately rules out this one okay so that's it's essentially just a bit of noise so the next thing we might do is look at the f uh, all the other ones uh, are fine for that constraint okay so the next thing we're going to do is we'll try and see do they all fit with the first constraint. So 2x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 25. So let's do that here. 2x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 25. So 2 times the first one 7.5 plus 4 times 3 is equal to 27 okay so that's 15 plus 12 so that's equal to 27 that's another one we can rule out as infeasible okay what about this one here 8 and eight, the third one 8 and 25 that is 2 times 8 plus 4 times 2.5 that's equal to 26 that's can be ruled out for the exact same reason okay Uh, the last one there, 8 and 2.25, or this, uh, the fourth one, is uh, 2 times 8 plus 4 times 2.25. That's 16 plus 9. That's equal to 25. So that one is okay. So we're just going to, uh, that one's okay. Um, what about this one below? 7.75 and 2. Well, I think you can sort of pretty much deduce that it's a feasible solution, but suboptimal. We'll just confirm that it's both the numbers are less. So 2 times 7.75 plus uh, 4 times uh, 2 point, was it 4 times t simply 2? So that is going to be. Uh, 15.5 plus 8 which is going to be 23.5 it's feasible but it's not optimal okay uh, what could have happened there also is you could have got a op uh, a uh, just not that I picked it this time around is I could have another option I could have gone now this isn't one that's part of it plus uh, let's say the one of the answers there was 7 and 3 that would have been feasible as well I think 14 and 12 no it wouldn't have been so let's go for 2 there uh, 14 that would have been 22 that would be an integer answer but it's not the optimal answer there so essentially that's just a sort of hypothetical scenario I didn't actually ask it in this for this particular set but it's just in case you got an in integer solution so this is what we're going to do here okay so we have that's the answer we're going to go for and what we're going to do now for this next part is that we are going to branch here. 
Okay. So um, we're going to uh, create a branching here on this um, next on on x two. Okay. It's the only one of the fractional part. If in in the, in the case where both answers, uh, both x one and x two would have a fractional part. You pick the one with the largest fractional part, okay? But I'll tell you, I'll come to, I'll talk about that another time. Uh, so what we're going to do here is branch on this, okay? So we're going to uh, branch according to this: x less x two less than or equal to two, and x two greater than or equal to three, okay? So what does that mean? Let's look at our tree, and this is the This is the problem we've just sort of solved here. We had to look at this one here. This is the original problem, but now we're creating a branching, and x one less than or equal to two, and x sorry x two less than or equal to two, and x two greater than or equal to three. Okay. So what we're going to do now is try out um, the solution at node one a and one b. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll set that up as the next part of the presentation. So this is the following subsequent presentation. We look at the solutions at node 1a and node 1b. Okay, 